<laughs> what up welcome back to another video guys we are here located at garden state harley davidson we have a beautiful day out here in dirty jersey high of 47 degrees partly cloudy but beautiful weather and look what we have right in front of me we have this beautiful 2021 harley davidson sport glide in this all white color this is a beauty this is going to be the bike this year guys that a lot of people are going to be looking towards too this is the bike that for the last two or three years everyone has kind of like just looked over it they look at it and they say oh yeah it's cool well whatever they keep walking but with the most simple minor change that they did to this bike this year which was matching the uh saddlebags to the paint automatically this bike just gain, is going to gain a whole lot more popularity um so as you know this bike has been on the market since 2018 so she's going on her fourth year now on the uh, soft tail lineup and um like i said before it wasn't such a huge huge popular bike before but now it was just due to the bags not being the same color i know that that was one of my biggest things when i took this bike out about a year or two ago for a review ride that's one of the things that i kind of pointed out and one of the things that i wish the bike came with already which is matching colors so right away it looks really good now we're going to go over a few little details a few little specs we're going to start with the front so as you see here this bike does come with this stock detachable little mini fairing right here i guess we'll call it a mini fairing very easy to take off i'm not going to demonstrate it right now because i've done that on the previous video as well with the bags but i'll show you guys exactly what i mean so in here we have these clips you just clip that open clip the other side open take the whole thing off and easy as that one two three and you have a different bike so down in the front you're also going to have that led light in the front which is really nice um harley davidson really 2021 and we still do not have led turn signal so i gotta give you a thumb down for that um one thing i really like about this bike and that you know it gives you really really great handling is the fact that it comes with inverted forks in the front um so that's going to give you a lot more handling better handling than you know your uh, normal bike would we have these beautiful wheels right here beautifully designed really like the design of them um dual disc front brakes another thing that i wish it had which it doesn't have uh, moving on to the back we have a five gallon gas tank i really love the uh, graphics that they did this year I, I love that i think it, it looks pristine very clean beautiful beautiful design um right here on top you're gonna have your analog your gas cap that one's just a decal so nothing there as you can see five gallon gas tank your regular normal harley davidson controls on and off switch uh dual lights power switch right turn signal left turn signal your toggle button high beam low beam horn and one plus that this bike comes with cruise control which is a plus very nice uh this bike does come set up already for two up so it does come with a passenger seat it does also come with rear passenger pegs as well so this bike is ready to up which is a plus we're gonna have your monoshock on here this bike is on the soft tail lineup so your exposed monoshock with you're able to play around with it here um you know shifting around making it a your ride a bit firmer or not uh depending on your weight uh, you can read in the catalog and the brochure exactly uh, how you know figure that out now this is a 2021 soft tail so it is going to come equipped with the 107 milwaukee 8 um 107 i mean i wish it had a 114 this bike only comes in a 107 with that being said this bike does have a lot of pep a lot of torque it does also come with a two and one from factory which i gotta say looks really really nice i like the design of this stock exhaust being that it's from factory it, it does look nice really like it um moving on to the back we got the uh detachable bags color matched plus 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 as you can see here very easy to open unless that they open up not to be able to fit a whole bunch of stuff in here but i got my torque cat in here shout out to torque you get 15 percent off the uh website when you uh, use my promo code mk15 got my license plate right there for the ride and you can fit you know quite a few things in here you know clothing and drinks or whatever you gotta pack up for the weekend i mean it, it's it's a good size 
size bag. Now these bags are very, very easy to uh, also take off. So right now it's locked. You could just switch up. Once you uh, unlock that, the red uh, plug will lift up here. You just lift up and this hinge right here will come off there as well, which is just latched on. Very easy. It takes you about 30 seconds to put on this bag and take it right off. I'm not going to demonstrate it again. Like I said before, I've done that in the previous video. I'm going to link that video in the end. That way you guys can see exactly how far along I have come along with my reviews as well. Things are a bit more detailed now. We got more better camera quality and um yeah let me know drop your thoughts down below do you guys think we've come a, a long way from two years ago doing reviews or what <laughs> i really want to know your opinions drop them down below i like the fact that the inverted forks come with uh the black right here having them all black would have been really nice though that would have been a nice little touch right there um your wheel size in the front you're gonna have a I think it's an 18 size 18 inch wheel in the front 16 in the back i believe correct me if i'm wrong in the back there's something that i do not like a matter of fact we'll leave that for in a few minutes but you're gonna have your bullet turn signals right here also your your brake light so that stays on at all times overall i really do like this bike i like the aesthetics of it this bike also comes equipped with four controls um and they're they're four controls but they're not too far ahead a uh, huge huge difference from the older models from dinas and anything else four controls are really pushed up uh, ahead these are these are at a really good angle me i still prefer mid controls so if i was to get this bike i would have that changed and i would do mid controls on here just because i like that style of riding a bit more and i feel more planted on the bike as well uh, the seating comfort is is pretty good for being a stock seat i can't say too much about the passenger seat it doesn't look like it's going to be a a comfortable ride for your passenger um so you might want to get her or him whatever you're into a uh different seat at that but it is nicely designed um this little windshield right here you're also able to um, change that out so harley davidson also offers a taller one um which i think would look uh, pretty nice now i gotta say I, I do like the fairing in the front i'm not too crazy about it i wish it was you know much bigger because this does give you a bit of wind coverage but not to the extent where it's gonna you know not like a like an fxr fairing not like uh uh, like the heritage right there which i gotta point out which we might be doing a video on that next i think that's gonna pretty much cover everything we're gonna take the bike out right now let you guys know my honest opinion of what i think about this bike one thing uh before we do that i want to point out a few things that if i had this bike what would i change on it let's go over that I, I, that's a little segment i want to start doing with all my reviews a little addition what i would do to this bike what would I change to it to make it different and for it to look better perform better number one We'll start with the fairing. I would honestly change that fairing out. This is the type of bike that I would take and add an FXR T fairing on it. Um, this is the bike that Matt Laylaw used on his um, King of the Baggers build. Beautiful bike. And uh, that FXR T fairing on these bikes look amazing. So that's one thing I would do. Um, so yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that it doesn't come with dual disc front brake. This bike already comes at a very high price point of 18.5. Close to 19,000, 2021, who knows? So the least they could have done was give me dual disc front brakes. Um, I mean, you're already paying a premium price. So that's number two. Number three is the fender. I, 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 I can't stand this fender. I don't understand why they would put a chop fender on a bike that has bags on it. Like it just, it doesn't make any sense. Like put, give me a full fender, a full rear fender and give me a nice light like the, uh, like that right there, you know, or like the, like the low rider s so i don't like the fact that it doesn't come with a full fender i don't like the fact that it doesn't have dual discs from brakes and i mean i think i think that's, that's pretty much it just those two big things but I, I, like i said i would change out the fairing and obviously you know do a two to one maybe a tbr turnout on there change out the seat do a saddle man um change this air cleaner out a lot of cosmetic stuff the bags i will leave as is i will take off those reflectors um i would get these painted make everything all black black out the wheels that would look sick or maybe in gold Woo! that'll be sick right there t-bars in this that'll look nice we're gonna talk about the bars real quick but the bars are uh they're pretty comfortable that's how i feel them yeah so it's a pretty comfortable position like it feels really good 
So your analog right here is going to let you know how much gas you have left. Your RPM, everything, your miles. Right now we have six miles on this bike, so we're not going to put that many miles on it. <laughs> Turns on right away. Feels great. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Like I said, the front, um, the four controls feel good. They're not pushed up too much. I'm gonna let you guys know exactly how much wind coverage I'm getting with this little fairing here. Little mini fairing. I mean, I can see why they, they don't wanna go with a bigger fairing, cause it could, if you, let's say you give this a full fairing, you're kinda taken away from the street glide and the road glide. And I don't think Harley Davidson wants to do that. They kind of want to keep that market as is and not take away from it because that's uh, that's the bread and butter right there. So plenty of torque. That's one thing I got to say. This bike is very, very torquey. Now, when it comes to weight, the bike weighs around 600 and... 80 pounds so a bit heavy not the heaviest but a bit heavy ergonomics of the bars feels really good my my arms feel they have a slight bent to them I feel very comfortable seated position is also good so this is the type of bike that you can literally sit down right away and go for a, a nice long ride as is stock already because i feel very very comfortable I, I feel like i could do a few hundred miles today on this bike and uh, i'm not having any issues <laughs> and she pulls man she definitely pulls as far as wind coverage um i am getting a lot of wind on my chest up here my chest and everything else so not the best wind coverage, but there is some wind protection there. You know, you know what would look really nice on here? A Memphis Shades Road Warrior. Woo, painted in white. That would look really nice. Dark shield. It's really comfortable though. I gotta say the suspension out here is pretty, pretty good. That's one thing about the soft tail lineup. Suspension, when it comes to suspensions, um, they're, they're not that bad. Like on my 2020 Lowrider S, I, uh, I I can't complain too much about it. Like uh, uh, the ride feels really good, really comfortable. Downshift. And we'll make it right over here. Lean angle, feels really good. As far as maneuvering, yes, the bike is a bit heavy at 680, but it's very nimble. You throw it around really nice and easy, as you can see. We got some little, little curves right here. Yeah, the lean angle is pretty good. Not the best option for me right here. It's not that uh, tight, but <laughs> it's pretty good though. Yeah, she picks up quick. That 21 definitely helps, man. I mean, uh, it's also a stock exhaust, so it's not going to sound really loud. It's not going to be the you know the best sound quality from uh, from what you would expect from a Harley, but it's stock. Something that you know Harley nobody nobody leaves on their bikes. Can we make a left on here into this little church. Notre Dame of Mount Carmel. Okay. I wish I had a 114. I really did. I mean, I, like I was saying before, at that price point, 
you're paying around eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars for a bike. I would expect a one fourteen in it. I would expect dual disc front brakes, and you know, little cosmetic stuff like, you know, I want LED turn signals, Harley Davidson. Like, it's about time, twenty twenty one. Let's get it. Let's get it together. Like little stuff like that. Now, like I said, this bike also does come with cruise control. We're not gonna put it on the highway right now, so we're not try that out, but. That's definitely a plus. That's something that I want to add on to my uh, my low rider as cruise control for this upcoming riding season. Lean angle, lean angle. Pretty good. One thing I got to point out that the spike is, it just feels very well balanced. Drop it thoughts down below guys I, I really want to know what you guys think about the sport glide for 2021 um are you a big fan are you happy that they are color matching the bags now um things that you wish this bike would have also drop that in the comments down below what do you wish pick three things that you wish this bike had um do you agree with me do you think that it should have a bigger fairing the full fender in the back as far as the 114 I would definitely switch out the uh, four controls to mids. It's just my preference, my riding style, just what I like. You have a lot of bite. Even though you don't have those uh, dual disc front brakes, you still do have a lot of bite in the front, which is a plus. Oh, the Milwaukee 8, such a tamed engine, but such a beast, working at its best. I think part of the reason why this bike also handles really really well like i said before is it has to do with the inverted forks on the front it makes a bike much much more nimble I think that's going to conclude everything, guys. Um, if you are interested in this model, and if you are in the local area, New York or New Jersey, you can stop by Garden State Harley-Davidson, ask for Rob, tell him I sent you, tell him Marvel Kid sent me, I'm here to pick up my new 2021 Sport Glide. <laughs> um, they'll treat you well, man. This guy's here at Garden State, always take care of me, and I'm pretty sure they'll take care of you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. I hope you guys have enjoyed looking at this beautiful 2021 Harley Davidson Sport Glide. That's gonna conclude everything. Let the force be with you. And like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. thing before you go this is the type of bike that you're going to be comparing to the heritage if you're looking into that type of market where you're looking for a bike with bags some rim protection on the front you can probably put these two bikes head to head against each other you're going to have this bike the heritage and the Rogue king they're very similar not your big touring models but you're still going to have the uh, accessibility of having bags and wind protection and also having a very nimble bike these are both 2021s